Okay, so he is super interested. Hi, thank you. Good boy. That's an app. Uh, Super, super interested in my work gloves here, right? I just want to pick up some sticks, <laughs> maybe start a little fire. So I'm, notice what I'm not doing is I'm not going to snatch him up out of his face. I'm not going to try to take him over here because the faster something moves, right? Especially to a herding breed. If it moves, it is now a target for chasing and grabbing with his mouth, right? They're just mount, uh, any kind of herding breed, but especially these little guys, um, Cattle dogs, cattle dogs can be crazy mouthy, man. Like, he is actually not as bad as some that I have seen. He's not like a baby alligator. He's almost like a baby alligator, but not quite. Maybe like a baby monitor lizard. But he's relatively gentle, to be honest. As far as when, like, when he is mouthing, he's relatively gentle. Thank you. So, I'm going to put the gloves behind my back. I'm going to show him that ball. He may not care about the ball. We'll see. Oh, you do like the ball. Fantastic. Awesome. So what I wanted to say was anytime we tell our dogs, no, we don't want you to do this, but you can do this. You can put your mouth all over the ball. I like when you chase the ball. I like when you pick up the ball. Good boy. That's nice. Also, fetch is a great way. Thank you, dogs. Fetch is a great way to expend energy with high energy breeds, which as you and I both know, cattle dogs most definitely are. So he's just going to go out there. Good dogs. Good dogs. Hi, Bronco. And as he's already coming back to me, right, I'm going to go ahead and say his name, acknowledge who he is and what he's doing that I like, right? I didn't acknowledge what he was doing that I like. And Captain's going to tell you to screw off. And he did, kind of. Now he's going to go try to harass Money Penny and how, now Titan. <laughs> Titan's like, mm, not right now. <laughs> oh, you have agitated the beast. <laughs> the captain wants to play with him. I'll let Captain play with him. But um, the captain really just makes a lot of noise. There's nothing aggressive about what he's doing. You want to check out the ball? Good. But whenever we're going to tell Bronco there's something that he's doing that we don't like, we want to give him an option of something to do. Good boy, Bronco. Good boy. We're going to give him an option. Good come, Bronco. We're going to give him an option of something that we do like, right? So if he wants to chew on something that we don't want him to chew on, we're going to give him something he can chew on. Or like if he's jumping up on the counter. Honestly, one of the best options is to keep him out of the kitchen entirely. Um, also, having him in a crate in the kitchen. I don't know if you're, that's an option in your kitchen. In my kitchen, it is. I have a little space between that cupboard and that doorway. Um, and I put his little crate in there. That shows him he can be... Why are you in my fire pit? Um, that shows him that he can be in the kitchen and also not on the countertop. You can be involved. Like last night, we were trying to all sit down and watch TV. He wanted to be a little baby. You know, he wanted to be a baby. He went in. That's exactly what he is. He wanted to play with the other dogs. And I was saying, no, it's 10 o'clock at night. We need to calm on down. I moved his crate from the bedroom, from that teal bedroom that he's in, to the living room. And he threw a little bit of a fit. He yipped a couple times, pawed at the door of the crate. But then he immediately settled down, right? Because he realized, good boy, that... Whenever they realize that doing the actions that they think are going to get them something, yipping, pawing at the door, all of that kind of stuff, that just gets you nothing. It gets you ignored, right? Just like when you try to eat my gloves. I'm not going to give you the gloves, but I am going to give you something else that you can chew on. <laughs> because it's important to let them know, no, I don't want you to do that. But you can do this instead, right? Because he's just a baby. Also, we don't always want to be telling our dog no, 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 because that's, that's, that's taxing. They feel like they're never succeeding and they'll get frustrated, right? And learning will no longer become fun. And also, dogs like that, they'll just shut down. A lot of dogs will just shut down. Let him get up. Oh, you want the editing. Woo, that's a stick. But anyway, the main point is, when you're telling them to not do something, give them something they can do instead. 
so that they do feel accomplished and like they're not just being told no, 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 no. Right? Because we want them to feel successful.